For the movie Troy, Brad Pitt had six months to build a lean, athletic, and functional body, one that was fit for his role as the greatest Greek warrior of all time, Achilles. I'm Paris Demers, a full-time personal trainer and online coach, and in this video, I'm going to break down exactly how Brad Pitt built his body for Troy, and then I'm going to give you the exact diet model and workout program you should be following if you want to do the same. Now, this wasn't Brad's first time getting into amazing shape. Five years before Troy, he got super ripped for his role in Fight Club, but the difference is, Brad is much more muscular in Troy than he was in Fight Club. For Fight Club, Brad weighed in at about 155, while for Troy, he was around 185 pounds. That's a huge 30 pound difference. For Fight Club, Brad's main goal was to just get super lean, while for Troy, he had to do a much more bodybuilding focused routine in order to pack on all that extra muscle. The main muscle groups Brad's trainer had him focus on while prepping for Troy were his back, shoulders, and arms, while they had much less of a focus developing his chest. This is because they modeled Brad's physique for the movie off of Roman Greco wrestlers who built their bodies through their job as fighters instead of by pumping iron in the gym. Not only would overdoing Brad's chest make his shoulders and arms look smaller by comparison, but Brad's trainer also argued that the Roman Greco wrestlers had smaller chests but a powerful back and arms since most of their power came from their posterior chains. Speaking of wrestlers, I have an exciting announcement from the sponsor of today's video, Raid Shadow Legends. Raid Shadow Legends is what happens if you cross a blockbuster movie with a real AAA video game and then squeeze it into a mobile phone. Raid has prepared something special for all new players this Christmas. Get ready to celebrate the 12 days of Raid. Download Raid Shadow Legends from the links below. Copy your player ID from in-game. Head to 12daysofraid.plarium.com. You can also find this link in the description. Enter your player ID and then set out on some fun, festive adventures that last 12 days, running from December 19th to January 10th. Each day, experience a new chapter of this wintry story and play a new mini game for a chance to win some amazing in-game and real-life prizes, including holiday-themed raid champions and even Amazon gift cards worth up to $1,000. Existing raid players, don't think you're being left out. Head to 12daysofraid.plarium.com where you can find a special holiday promo code that everyone can use for a small festive gift. And I'm about to tell you something that's going to be incredibly exciting for all you MMA fans out there. Ronda Rousey is now a legendary champion available in Raid Shadow Legend, and you can get Ronda for free right now, whether you're new or a longtime player, just by logging into Raid. All you have to do is log in and play Raid for seven days between now and February 20th, and Ronda is yours. Okay, to celebrate Ronda's arrival into Raid, you can use the special promo code Raid Ronda, available for all players new and old. This code will net you a bunch of useful stuff, like a three-day 100% XP boost, 500,000 silver, and five full energy refills. Just enter promo code RAID RONDA in game, and all these goodies can be yours. And if you haven't started playing RAID yet, click my link in the description or scan my QR code here on the screen, and you'll get a unique bonus worth $30. All this treasure will be waiting for you here, available for the next 30 days, and this part is for new players only. Make sure to go check out RAID, and now back to the video. So, to build his powerful back, arms, and shoulders, Brad did a lot of heavy lap pulldowns and dumbbell rows. Brad did so many rows that he eventually got to the point where he could do a single arm row with a 100 pound dumbbell, which is actually really impressive. So this body composition makes a lot of sense in the context of the movie, but for the rest of us, I know we all want to have a juicy chest. So I'll be giving you a more well-rounded version of Brad Pitt's Troy training at the end of the video. Now, speaking of Brad's training program for Troy, it was a classic bodybuilding plan that focused on the essentials for building muscle such as progressive overload, high frequency, and most importantly, quality over quantity. Now that last point is very important. A huge mistake I see a lot of people making in the gym when they're trying to build muscle is that they follow all these workout plans that have them doing 10 to 20 sets per muscle group per workout. See, the thing is, your body can only actually benefit and adapt from around six to eight hard working sets per muscle group per session. That's assuming you're natural, of course. For the average person, any sets that you do after this point Will just be junk volume that don't provide a lot of additional benefit and will just be tiring you out and putting unnecessary stress on your connective tissues. Plus, if you're actually able to complete 10 to 20 sets on a single muscle group during a single training session, I can guarantee you you're not training hard enough to optimally stimulate muscle growth. The bodybuilding science is pretty clear on this. If you want to be building muscle, then you need to be training within one to three reps of failure for most of your sets, while taking some of your sets all the way to failure. This will ensure that you're sending a powerful muscle and strength building stimulus to your body so that you can actually make some gains. Brad's trainer truly understood this principle of quality over quantity, and that's why he always pushed Brad to work hard on every single set, making sure he kept his form tight while pushing himself to his limits. Now, Brad might have hated this approach to training at first, but he quickly saw the benefits of this high intensity training. Actually, so much so that the phrase discomfort is where all the change takes place 
became the mantra of his Troy training. During an interview with Esquire, Brad's trainer really hammered home the importance of progressive overload when it came to training for strength and hypertrophy, also known as muscle growth. Progressive overload is simply when you increase the difficulty of your training over time so that you can consistently stimulate your body to build muscle and gain strength. This can look like increasing the weight that you're lifting, increasing the total number of sets you're performing, increasing the number of reps you're performing at a given weight, or even speeding up or slowing down a movement. But one of the best and most simplistic ways to implement progressive overload into your hypertrophy training is by using a system known as double progression. Double progression is a method of regulating how to increase the volume and intensity of your training. And this is how it works. Let's say your program calls for four sets of eight to 12 reps on the bench press. With double progression, you're only allowed to increase the weight you're lifting once you're able to complete all four sets at the top end of your rep range. So in this case, you're only allowed to increase the weight once you're able to perform four sets of 12 at a given weight. So let's say I'm already at four sets of 12 with 135. So I increase the weight for my next session to 140. Then at that session, I'm only able to complete three sets of 12 reps and one set of eight reps. Then I would stay at 140 until I'm able to hit four sets of 12 with 140. Maybe it only takes me a few training sessions adding some reps each time, or maybe it takes me over a month. The most important thing is that I'll be consistently pushing up my volume and intensity over time, which is just a fancy way of saying that I'll be applying progressive overload. Now, if you guys are appreciating the realistic fitness education and you want me to make more videos like this that'll help you get into amazing shape, please like, subscribe, and comment fitness ed down below. Now, progressive overload and more broadly hypertrophy training is obviously incredibly important when it comes to building an amazing physique but you won't be able to build anything unless you have the right diet. Unfortunately, just like many celebrities who have to get into amazing shape for a movie, Brad Pitt followed the chicken, broccoli, and brown rice diet for Troy, where he ate chicken breast, steamed broccoli, and brown rice three to six times a day. It baffles me that Hollywood coaches think that this is the best meal plan for getting ripped and lean. So I'm about to completely dismantle the chicken, broccoli, and brown rice diet once and for all so that no one is ever tempted to do it again. The proposed idea behind the diet is that it'll provide the quote unquote cleanest nutrition you can get. So you'll be able to maximize your muscle growth while also gaining as little body fat as possible. But there are three big reasons why this is bullshit. First of all, you don't need to eat 100% clean to put on muscle without putting on much fat. If you closely track your calories and macronutrients, you can easily fit in small daily treats into your diet without it affecting your results. This is because to a large degree, changes in your body composition are dictated by calories in and calories out. So if you're eating in just a slight calorie surplus, you'll put on muscle without putting on much fat. And the second reason the chicken, broccoli, and brown rice diet is bullshit is because the diet model is so overly restrictive, it's gonna make it incredibly difficult to stick to in the long run. Training and dieting is already pretty monotonous. So you want to bring in as much variety with your diet as possible to keep things interesting. Just listen to this. Which one of these sounds better to you? Eating some beautifully roasted yams with some pan fried chicken thighs and some baked Brussels sprouts on the side or eating chicken, broccoli and brown rice for the seventh time today. Because believe it or not, you'll actually get better results with the first option. And that's because of the third and probably the biggest problem with the chicken, broccoli and brown rice diet. And that problem is that it's incredibly deficient of important micro and macronutrients. This diet model is super low in healthy fats, which are essential for proper hormone production. And this diet is also incredibly low in important vitamins and minerals that'll keep your body operating at its best. So just say no to the chicken, broccoli, and brown rice diet, and instead eat a wide variety of healthy whole foods while focusing on having each meal contain a lean protein, healthy fat, starchy carb, and a veggie source. That way, you'll be giving your body everything it needs from a macro and micronutrient standpoint to perform at its best, while actually eating food you can enjoy, making it easier to stick to your diet so that you can get ripped faster. So that's pretty much all the information we have on Brad Pitt's Troy training. Now, if you wanna look like Brad Pitt from Troy, but with a nicer chest, of course, I've gone ahead and created you a full workout plan based off of his training that you can follow. You can download the program 100% for free using the link in the description of this video. Simply follow that program while using the double progression system. Focus on following the type of whole food diet we talked about earlier. And if you really wanna see great results, you need to be tracking your nutrition. And luckily for you, I've made a whole video on how to do exactly that. So click the video on the screen to watch that next and I'll see you there.